All right, before we get to Ryan, we want to tell you about the winner of this year's Bat Beauty Contest. That is Hori Potter. It's named for the species of bat found mostly in North America. The Bureau of Land Management hosted the contest and announced the winner earlier today. People voted throughout the last week, which was Bat Week. It teaches people about the role that bats play in our ecosystem. I just learned a new species of bat. Yes, Thank you did. You. And you know what? I learned a new species of bat, sort of. My kid's going to be a vampire bat for Halloween. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And we're going to get you out of here in a few minutes so you can get out there and have some fun. Right? That's the plan, yeah. It's a and beautiful great weather night. for it, right? Unbelievable. And, and, you know, you think about how warm it was today and how warm it's been recently. Yeah. I want to show you this. This is Sunday River today. There actually was Halloween skiing. No way. They they opened up just enough terrain with some of the man-made snow. People were in costumes. And, I and love and that. Isn't that great? That's fantastic. Especially seeing how warm it was today and how it's summer-like. Amazing they were able to pull that off. And nice to see some Halloween spirit and looking ahead to the next season around here, too. Uh, last year at this time, it was 43 in Portland, 39 in Bangor. How about right now? 75 in Portland, 68 in Bangor. It really doesn't get much warmer than this at this point in the year, at this time of the evening. Uh, Bangor actually broke the record high of 70 one today by several degrees. Portland fell short of the record of 80 and we're still 74 in Sanford and 76 in Portsmouth right now. Nice and clear around here. We have a warm night ahead tonight, but we are watching this front off to the west. This is what will come in with some cooler air for the weekend and it will pass through with a few showers tomorrow. So if you're stepping out this evening, even at nine o'clock, except if you're up in the mountains or maybe on the down east coast, we're still in the 60s. We remain dry through at least midnight tonight, and then some showers do start moving into the mountains by three in the morning, getting into the central highlands and into parts of central Maine. And then by the time most of you wake up, there will be some scattered showers across most of the state. But look at these temperatures out the door tomorrow morning, still mild in the 60s in most spots. This is the front going through, but the cold air lags behind it, so we still get into the low 70s in many spots tomorrow afternoon with maybe another random shower around Bangor and into eastern Maine, but central and southern Maine will be dry through the afternoon tomorrow. The wind will be kicking up though as that front goes by. So at noon we start to get some gusts to about 30 miles per hour in western Maine and the strongest winds for most of us kick up early to mid afternoon. So even though it will be warm, that gusty wind will be sending in cooler air, which really settles in coming up tomorrow night. Then for the weekend, high pressure builds in. We have a beautiful day on Saturday with a mix of sun and clouds, a chilly start on Sunday, but with sunshine, we get back up into the 40s to near 50. So here are the highs on Saturday. Again, a big change from what we had today and what we'll have tomorrow, but more typical for this time of the year. 40s for most of the state, around 50 in southern Maine, and a cold start Sunday morning, but the afternoon will be really nice and pleasant with a light wind and temperatures between 45 and 50. Small crafts are up for tomorrow because we'll have that gusty wind on the water. Seas running three to five feet. So another warm one tomorrow. We get into the 70s again. There will be some showers in the morning and then the sun develops. The wind picks up though for the midday and the afternoon. It will cool down quickly tomorrow night so we won't have a warm night for Friday night football or any other plans going on tomorrow night. But the weekend looks good and we may have another warm up toward election day uh, with a chance for a few showers but it doesn't look like a big storm at this point in time. Yep and we get the fall back over the weekend. Yes we get an extra hour of a nice weekend. Fantastic. If it's a rainy weekend, you really don't want an extra <laughs> yeah, hour. Like, oh, I guess I'll sleep in. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome.